Okay, I want to hear what's going on. Talk to me, Sharon. Hi, Rowan. Hi. I am doing my bucket. <laughs> what's in your bucket? In my bucket. By the way, you get these at the dollar store. Spray bottle. Those wipey thingies for the mirrors. Basic H and basic G. Atties. Oh, sorry. Scour off. And the, uh, for the floor. Hmm. How many did you make? Buckets. I made five. Five? Yeah. And how many have you gotten out? One. Okay. And who'd you get it out to? Uh, friends that have a uh, cleaning business. They open their own cleaning business and I just asked them, would you like to try a sample of my products and see what they can do for you? I didn't get into two drops of basic age can do this and this. I said, experiment with it and get back to me. Tell me what it cleans. So are the instructions in there and everything for how much to use? Yes. Or if I can meet with them, I will sit with them and show them that just two drops in the spray bottle. And then they totally go nuts when they see two drops. Have you ever thought about putting in um, one of those writing skill sheets? I have. I have okay. it. Okay. Very good, very good. The ones that have the kids, I, I put it in. So if, okay. if, you know, if I know who has kids, then I'll throw that, the writing skills in mm -hmm. there. Okay. Well, I'm thinking of somebody right now who made it to director in a few months, not very many, I think three months, broke out with 3,000 volume, and they were getting out, I think it was four cleaning buckets. That's all they did. Kept getting them out, followed up with additional information, got people interested in supplements and so on. But that's what they did. They just got cleaning buckets out, asked people if they would be interested in trying some environmentally safe cleaning products. Of course, people said, yeah, we'll try it. Got back, chit-chat a little bit, and asked, uh, do you have any questions? And uh, some people had questions. Some people wanted a catalog. And, you know, in other words, not trying to sell anything so it works out very well so good job glad you're doing that who else has comments gary uh not much this week we've had some weather issues kept us housebound so we've done some phone work and whatnot but uh mm -hmm. we have our next event planned for march 2nd oh that's right we're gonna, okay. we're gonna pursue that so uh-huh very good, very good. Maggie, what's cooking? Um, I have been in home with my friend Carrie on Saturday and uh, a business call with you tomorrow, and maybe two, because I gotta talk to you about that. Okay. And then another in homes getting set up for next month. And tell, tell me about the end home that you have set up for next month. How'd that happen? Um, Brittany, the one that we did with the Crohn's that we did the call on, um, she's doing one. How is she doing with the Crohn's disease? As long as she, as long as she takes the stuff, she does great. <laughs> but when she quits, like if she gives it a break, like if we're not at school, sometimes she doesn't take it because she doesn't have a lot of money. Um, so she'll save it. So when she'll take it when she's at school, so she doesn't have the issues at school. Um, but if she doesn't take it, not good. If she takes it, great. Is she getting better at being more consistent or not? Yeah, because I think that she doesn't like the times when she doesn't feel great. So, Isn't that amazing how people with such a 
problem as Crohn's can be consistent. <laughs> I would say this is this is it, folks. Everything else can go. <laughs> I can be late for whatever, yeah. but I am going to take it. So stand out of my way. Yeah, that's amazing. And um, what are you expecting on the end home? Um, How many people? Do you know any of the people coming what, or anything about that? I know she's inviting um, some of her family, which I don't know. I think her brother also has, he's not officially been diagnosed with Crohn's, but um, he has the same type of symptoms. And then she's inviting some other teachers from my school that I have not talked to yet. So, but she's already like showed them the, um, the cleaning products from when you came, when you did the in-home at my house. Uh -huh. She was talking to him like the next day about, you know, stop using those Lysol wipes in the classroom. <laughs> now, have do you have any cleaning caddies made up? Yes, I have one out right now. And I have one that I'm going to be giving out. Okay. Are you planning on taking one of those to the in-home? That would, Yes, that would be a great idea. Okay, very good. And this is going to be your first in-home solo, right? For you that you've um, done? Have you done them before? Yeah. Well, we've done, Cheryl and I have done a few in the past, but it's been years since we've done it. Uh-huh. So it'll be my first one for a long time. Very good. How many people are you expecting? Um, on Saturday, I'm hoping like five. She wasn't sure how exactly how many, and Brittany was not sure how many for next month, but I'm hoping five or six or more. So are you anticipating sitting around the table, or of course, it depends on the number of people, I imagine, but what are you anticipating? Yeah. Um, actually, I've never been inside Brittany's house, so I'm not sure <laughs> what it's okay. like, but I guess if there's quite a few people, then uh, maybe, you know, I'll be up like standing up and they'll be sitting around the table. Um, mm -hmm. But if there's not a lot of people just sit around the table. And what are you anticipating? What are you thinking, believing that you will hear upon conclusion of the young home while you're standing around people are tasting their protein drinks? What are you expecting to hear? I'm expecting to hear that they are very interested in Shackley products. What else? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, maybe, hopefully, a few will be interested in how I'm making an extra income in Shackley. Okay. So I, what I'm getting at is very, very important to anticipate what people are going to say at the end, because then it puts your subconscious mind to work trying to figure out how can I get people saying that, such as, hey, that was really, really good. I enjoyed that. Boy, I'm thinking of a number of people who should be hearing about Shackley. So you can start picturing and doing affirmations that that's, those are different things that you're going to hear. So your subconscious is going to be working from now until then, trying to figure out what can you say to really, really be productive. In other words, I have a conference call with my two sons tomorrow about their vineyard. And some tough stuff I've got to talk about. I am picturing the outcome. I'm picturing what they're going to say after we talk. Because it's going to be a firm talk. And things that they must change. So I'm picturing a great outcome, and I'm picturing already what they're going to be saying afterwards. Good stuff. They really appreciate it. They're not going to rebel against it. Okay? So I'm picturing all that. And therefore, every day or every morning I wake up, it's in my mind what to say. I've formulated it already. I've done it a number of times. Gone, I've probably gone over what I'm going to say probably 20 times already. 
and I wake up in the morning and I, what bugs me is I wake up earlier than I want to wake up and I'm going through the scenario again and again and again. That's why it's so important to prepare the outcome. And your subconscious will help direct you what to say, when to put the pauses in, everything. So plan the outcome of anything you do. An in-home, a one-on-one, -on -one, plan the outcome. You'd be surprised what will happen. Powerful. Is Mike doing this with you? Um, I'm not sure he's doing the one on Saturday, but the one next month he is. Okay, that's fantastic. And, and what you will get out of the end home when the husband and wife do it together is you multiply your benefits by at least five times. Because if Mike were to do the presentation on his own, then everybody would say, well, it's the guy's business. When the woman does it on her own, they're thinking, well, this is probably just for women. But when you do it together, it dispels those concepts and the people go home and they tell their spouse who may not have been there and saying, hey, they're both doing it. And so it just is a whole, it's, it's a whole different level of thinking. And what it does, it saves you where you get both male and female there, it saves you um, probably about four meetings because of the results you get. Saves you quite a bit. It's just like when you have couples at the meeting. Um, that's very powerful because for the one who's at the meeting to go home and try to explain what happened, it's a little difficult, but when they're both there hearing it firsthand, wow, the results are so much better, so much better. So, so that's why if people know that Mike is coming, that will get more men there big time. So very, very important. Anybody have any questions on that in home or things that you're looking for at the Conclusion, always have the conclusion well in advance. Well, I know you'll do very well. Nina, go ahead. I was just going to say something that we were always taught is that when you go in there, you're expecting before you leave there, you'll have another one booked from that one. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's a great point because this is another thing. You're thinking, okay, somebody's going to book one. Somebody's going to have one. So what happens while you're doing the meeting and you're not even aware of it, but your subconscious is figuring out who might that person be? Who should I stand next to when we're having our protein drinks? And you may think it just happens by happenstance, but you say, I talked to this person afterwards and they said, yeah, they were ready. Your subconscious was directing you where to go, who to talk to because you it's all about picking up that energy and picking up that feeling. So that's a great point. So you have that on your mind, which means you're going to have your calendar with you. Because if somebody says, yeah, I'd like to do one. Oh, gee, I don't have my calendar. How about if I call you back? <laughs> oh, boy. The time we lose is incredible. And, of course, having a cleaning caddy there is so good because you can say, I have one. But I, you can put your name on the list. So whoever wants it first, fine. But the rest of you can put your name on the list and I'll, I'll try to get one to you later. It's, <laughs> you're going to plan this thing out so good because you're looking at the outcome. Plan good things on the outcome. I, I cannot emphasize how important that is. Nina, what else do you have to comment on? You're on mute, I yeah, believe. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to ask, so are most people that are doing in-homes, are they doing them around a table now? Around a kitchen table? What have you guys done? I know you like to stand, Roland, but what is it? Well, done? If, if you get over three people, four people, 
maybe five. It depends on how big the table is. But they are very good around the kitchen table. Because it feels more yeah. non-threatening. And then you're sitting and you're not above them. You're the same level as them. Yep. I remember the person who sponsored me into Shackley, Madeline Trottier, every Tuesday morning or something like this, she'd have some snack food and invite the neighbors in. They just sit around the kitchen table and talk and it's, it's so valuable. I remember Leon Huseman, master coordinator in Shackley, he's deceased now, but uh, I was there doing a meeting in their areas in California. And I said, Leon, how do you get people? And he said, oh, I just have a cup of coffee with them. Well, there's nothing like sitting down with people and listening to them and asking them questions. Everybody wants to talk and let them talk. They'll tell you everything and things you don't want to know. <laughs> I'll tell you a lot. Steve and Linda, what do you have to comment on? Took me a minute. Sorry about that. There she is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she was down telling me about something that you had said before. Anyway, what I have to comment on is, is Nina, you're right on about what you said. I had a uh, in-home about a week and a half ago, and my only thought process at that in-home, it wasn't what I could sell, it wasn't how much PV, it was out of this, I need another in-home. And that's where my thought process is, is for this. And Lo and behold, when I'm, there were there were four people there, I handed out the uh, sheets we use for. Well, what did you think about it? What do you what do you want to know about it? And in there is also, do you want to make extra income? And this person checked all of those, and so. When I got back with Ryan, he said, yes, I want to do this. What do I need to do? And we got together and I said, how many people can you put together in your house? And he said, six or eight. And I said, you're on the right track. Let's do it. So that's, that's where we are. When are you going to do that one? Or have you done the second one then? Have for we Ryan? Have, no, uh, we haven't done the second one. Ryan was getting his uh, schedule for his work today. And I will contact him as soon as we get off this call and find out what days he has available. And then we'll go from there. You know, that's such a good point, what you're doing. So many people try so hard for that person who says, I think I'm interested to really, really, really tell them everything and get them to jump up and down and say they're going to do Shackley. And we do it so much, or I've seen people do it, that you scare the heck out of them. So instead, I have found it very beneficial because the top priority is to get another in-home set up. That's number one priority. <laughs> number one. Has nothing yep. to do with how many products are sold. Has nothing to do with nothing. But getting another in-home set up is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, top priority. So, of course, we picture that. Mm -hmm. But saying to people who say, I have an interest, ask them some questions. But then say, can I tell you, you know, what's something that you can try? In other words, have one in your home. And then evaluate it. Because see how you like it. See what your friends have to say. And because I don't want you making a decision now. Mm -hmm. They feel so much more comfortable with that, so much more relaxed. Because many people feel, based on what has been communicated to them, is that they have to uh, commit to doing Shackley. No, I don't want you committing. You know, that's like saying, okay, because you walked into a car dealership, you've committed to buying a car. No, you're checking it out. Hmm. 
and give people an opportunity to check Shackley out. And my feeling is don't be quick in trying to get them to jump up and down and say they want to build a business. Yeah, when I met with Ryan, uh, via the presentation I did at, at his second level, uh, he, he said, you know, I'd like to try the, the multivitamin. So I brought the multivitamin with me. And I said, uh, do you want to try this? And he said, yeah, I, I really do. I said, I've been doing one a day men's. I know it's not working. It's, you know, and I said, okay, well, here it is. And I, I sold it to him at retail. Try it out. If you like it, we'll move on. If you like the concept. And then I did the eight minute sales presentation. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I'm in. And I said, okay, well, when can we schedule? I said, the only way you're going to be effective at this is doing it and in a home presentation with some people. And he said, okay, I can do that. And then he asked me about one-on-ones. He said, can we do one-on-one -on -one presentations? And I said, yeah, we can. I said, what are you thinking? And he described some people uh, that were not in the area. And I said, absolutely. This is what we do, how we, and I explained how we do this as a, through a call. And I said, and if I don't know, I have a mentor that does. And that's what brought him in. He said, I can't wait to meet your mentor. <laughs> very good. Very good. One step at a time. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Eve, oh. go ahead. Who's coming? I was just going to say that, you know, even though I'm tied to my house, um, because I've gotten hurt, I, got a, I have a lot of people that are calling, which is awesome and i have a lot of people that are offering to come over here hmm. so it's been hard for me to accept that help first of all but i'm learning um but what i found interesting is today i had somebody come over and before she left she um ordered three big boxes of l and um, a couple of fabric softeners and so we got to talking about that and she said my whole family's using this stuff now because we can't stand it I had another gal that called to see how we were doing and she said, can I ask you a question? Because she was calling me about my health. So we ended up talking and she wanted to know she has a friend of hers who cannot speak English, but who cannot get pregnant. And she tried the Vitaly for a month and, um, or the Vitalizer a month and she did the protein and she gained weight and so she quit. And I said, can I ask you a bunch of questions? So we went through a pile of questions and, um, mm -hmm. Because this gal that was calling me, she didn't want any more kids because she had all of her kids. And she started on the life strip and the protein and she got pregnant in a month. <laughs> and she goes, Nina, you didn't tell me that was a side effect. <laughs> I said, well, I think it took a little more than that, but anyway. <laughs> so she started sharing this with her friends. And so she has a bunch of friends that can't get pregnant. <laughs> and they don't speak English so there is a barrier there so I said you need to ask these questions and so well, can they get by just doing protein and vitally and I said well I can tell you that they can do whatever they want but we have not gotten results in the past with people doing that you know they start feeling better but it takes a little more than that if they're not if they're having problems with hormones and stuff so sure so there was that one. And then there was, um, I mean, I have had more conversations about Shackley since I broke myself up. <laughs> what a way to do it, Nina, I tell you. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, I, I, I got to get off the phone now because like right now I've had my foot down for two hours and it's starting to kill me. I can oh. tell it's throbbing. So, but no, it's amazing how, I have it in my head. This is going to be an absolutely amazing month. And I believe it will because, because everybody wants to talk to me now and feel sorry for me. Yes. <laughs> so I can change that topic right away, which is awesome. 
Well, I like that attitude. It's going to be an amazing month. You know, I remember this is something anybody can do. But when I would sit at the phone talking to somebody, I would write 10,000 PV on a piece of paper again and again and again and again and again while I'm talking. And that imprints into the subconscious mind. You got to figure out how to do 10,000 PV. And I can't tell you how it happened, but it grew and pretty soon, yeah, 10,000 PV. I mean, it's, it doesn't cost much. I mean, somebody will give you a pencil and you can probably get some paper someplace, but doodling on a piece of paper, drawing out an organization and what your group will look like while you're talking on the phone is so powerful because you keep imprinting it on your mind and your subconscious, which I think I mentioned the other day, 95% of what we do every day is done with from the subconscious. Yes. And we're trying to do it consciously. Yes. Oh my turn goodness. That, turn that statement into a question. Why is it that I do 15,000 PV every month? Because when you ask yourself a question, your, your conscious brain has to figure out how to make that, or no, the subconscious has to help make the conscious, whichever direction it works. But one of the ways it works, mm -hmm. I'm not totally clear because it's stuff I'm doing, but you, if you do it as a question, then you, you have to figure out an answer. An answer. And I think that the subconscious is the one that makes it do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So consciously, if you ask yourself, why is it that I, whatever the, the statement is, and I heard a gal that went to a million dollar earner in a year, and that's all she did. Well, she worked, of course. But um, she asked herself continually, like, why is it that I'm in, or no, how would you do the executive coordinator one? Why is it that I'm an executive coordinator? So quickly or whatever you so want. Quickly, yes, yes. And because um, then your subconscious figures out the how. Yep. And, yep. and you're working, but mentally you're always like, okay, I'm an executive coordinator, even though it's different than doing an affirmation. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. asking and it, so I'm asking myself a lot. <laughs> you got time to do and that. And you know what? You know what's so interesting on that same hand, Roland, is with all this muckwalk, whatever you want to call it, that went on with the website. Yeah. I said to myself over and over and over, because when I came home from that funeral, my volume was 2,500 in the middle of the month. And I asked myself over and over, how can I only be at 2,500? I am not a 2,500. I, I have never been at 2,500 at the middle of the month. Why am I at 25? And I tell you what, I stuck there for a week. And it scared the daylights out of me. And it's like, okay, just a minute. Look what you're doing. And I changed it. And I think I ended up with 10.7 or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. on top of all of the BS. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you were uh, well over 10,000. I think I'm at 10.7. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I had to change my why am I only at 2,500? And as soon as I did that, and this sounds weird to talk it out loud, even as I'm saying it now, within a couple of days, I was at 66. <laughs> it's and you can't really say how it happened. I have no idea how it happened. I mean, we've got to realize the energy, how energy comes into play in all this. And our energy can go worldwide. It is not limited to our locality. It's just like if you have a fire burning here, it's only going to heat so far. But energy can go around the world. Yep. And you can influence people in their thinking who are on the other side of the planet. I mean, I've often told people to do this. You're coming back from uh, a conference where you're really feeling good. You've got good energy. And what I would like you to do is to just be thinking about people calling you. People are going to be calling you that didn't even know you were gone. And the phone gets hot. Yep. <laughs> we're sitting in the hospital, and I said that to Kimberly. I didn't know that I was broken up yet. I was pretty sure the way I was shaking. I said to her, 
I said, well, I guess I'm not going to California, but this is going to be a phenomenal month. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, right. Wow, I can't believe you're talking that way. But isn't it interesting, Nina, since you're doing that, how many times we hear people say, I don't know why. Yep. I have such a hard time doing this and this. And they do. They oh, match yeah. what they keep talking about all the time. So we must change that talk. The other thing is putting down on a piece of paper again and again and again what you want to achieve, uh, what you're – what you know you will achieve, and then sign your name to it and say thank you. Because that's saying I've accepted it. Anytime you sign your name to something, you've accepted it. That is so powerful. It is so powerful. And yet we will try to work with the 5% to uh, make something happen. And it just doesn't work very well. Uh, Eve, I'd like you to make some comments and I don't know, um, let's see, where I can see. If you could uh, get in a little more lighting because we can't see your face. Is it possible I, um, to, if to you turn the towards the light? Back, it always shows dark. If you have that the light better? on your face, yes. <laughs> I don't know that's what else little, to do. It's a little better. Can you face the light? Face the light. If wow, to... that sounds cool. Hang on. <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? That's better. much better. Much better. Well, I just want to say that uh, it's been a joy working with Eve because she has changed so much in her thinking. And, of course, her productivity is very, very, very good talking to a lot of people and Eve, we've talked a lot about energy. We spent a lot of time talking about energy and Eve understands that and we both keep learning from that. But when she talks to people, the answer is basically, yeah. And it's her energy that's making that good positive statement in return from people, such as I believe we mentioned on the last call that uh, I don't know if we did mention in the last call, but you called somebody and trying to set up an in-home. And of course the person's asking what you're doing and so on. And they pick up that good energy feeling. And I don't think, is Jane using any Shackley products? No, none knows nothing about it. Right. And so you, f with that energy, you felt comfortable. And this is the other thing, you get a gut level feeling. You felt comfortable asking her if she'd have an in-home. And she said, I'd love to. So she set up an in-home, and I know it's because that powerful energy that you have that she hasn't used a product, and she's setting up an in-home. I mean, it's just, so therefore, I want to do everything I can to make certain I have the right energy. I'm putting down my, my affirmations. I repeat the affirmations and so on. I doodle on a piece of paper. What my volume is going to be next month is very, very powerful. I'm doing all the talking for you. Go ahead, Eve. What, what are you learning about building a Shackley business? What are you learning? Well, um, I'm learning with the words that you're giving me I think how to sound, how to sound um, more powerful, how to have more credibility and where my faulty thinking is being like if I'm talking to one of my friends and I'm assuming she wants to help her son get better from Tourette's. But what I learned, I didn't even ask her what her interest was in doing the three way with you. And I didn't ask first, what are you hoping to achieve? And you make that sound so obvious and then I feel so stupid that I, I forget to even ask that with people of what, what do they want to make different because what I think they may, what I think is obvious, that's what I'm learning, it is not often the case. So, you know, As we've often talked about how sometimes we're just so anxious to tell them yeah. what we have to tell them that we don't ask certain questions. And I think that happens to a lot of people. So to, do not say you feel stupid about it. That's, you know, some of the things that we learn. What else have you learned? Um, well, for sure, the energy and the confidence that I need to have 
uh, when I speak and the difference that it makes when I do that. So that's really helpful. And just sitting and waiting. Um, you've also pointed out my intuition seems to be getting better and not assuming like when I went for brunch with my girlfriend on Sunday that I thought, oh, for sure, it'll be great. I'll ask her to do an in-home, she'll love it. And then when I'm with her, just listening to my gut and saying, no, this is not, not the right person, not the right time, whatever. And I think that that's been helpful to be, it's feeling like I'm learning to be really more present and tuned in to other people and not just like steamrolling them. And what did you observe in her that gave you that gut level feeling? I'm not going to say anything about Shackley. What were some of the things you observed and picked up because you asked a lot of questions and talked for a while and so on? Um, it took her a long time for her to even ask about me. She just went on and on about her life. And when I just started to talk, all I saw was a slight flicker in her eyes that told me she didn't really care what I said. So I just shortened everything up. And that's that. And it was just something in her eyes that just said, no, she doesn't care. She's not caring what I do, like none of it. So that's fine. Then I just made it more all about her and what she wants to do and just wanted to end the brunch as soon as possible. <laughs> and so what did we come to the conclusion as to why she just talked about herself? Um, yes, her. right. good point. That learning that, what that means for me, learning that she's insecure or lacks confidence and needs me to build her up more, if, if that would be helpful. Uh-huh. Very good, very good. Well, Eve is, believe me, on a track. We'll build a very, very, very good business in a short amount of time. And making contacts, you're, you're calling people all over the place. And they, right. you're getting a good response. I mean, people in Canada and people in the U.S. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. But if we understand, it's not what we say, it's the energy that we have that people pick up on that good energy. And so we constantly want to do the affirmations. We constantly want to have the good thinking that helps produce the good energy and just kind of let the subconscious work. And, and afterwards you'll probably say, boy, what I said was really good. Where'd that come from? I didn't even think about that. So uh, doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Eve. Appreciate that. See that we have Shanna on. What's new in your life? Jeremy, doing well? Your husband? Yep, yeah, we go tomorrow for some checkups. So he's doing well, mending. Um, I, I had some ahas while you're talking, Roland. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I it just had an aha that I don't listen to my energy well. I just, I don't listen to my energy well. I've had people who've been on my team who've said they want to build for years now, clearly they don't want to build or they would be building. They would be asking me questions and calling me and they want to know information. Um, but it, it, it's, I don't, I don't know. It's deeper than that. I don't know how to explain it. And when you say, you know, I've had people, you know, when I first got into Shackley, they would say, I just want some of this because, because I see how excited and I see your energy. And, and I slowly a little bit got away from that. Cause I, you know, I think too hard or, um, you know, I, I make it difficult when it's not difficult. You ask the questions, you listen to the people. If they want it, fine. You offer solutions. And uh, it just hit me that it's not, it's not a, it's not a physical energy. It's not a, a showing necessarily of excitement, but it's something more deep within. And I'm, I completely missed that until tonight when I was listening to, to Eve speak a little there. And, and so, um, I don't know, I think with this whole thing with, you know, Jeremy going through his hand has kind of really set me back and taken a good hard look at my business. So I do have an event tomorrow night, um, trying to make Shackley uh, a little bit more exciting for me. And so I'm doing, um, a bingo event and, um, I have a lot of people coming and I'm really excited about it. Um, but it's, it's, it's a virtual one and I'm hosting it with another mom who is also super busy but there are a lot of people who I've been thinking of who have said, yes, hands up. I want to come. So, but my energy shift has changed it within the last week. 
And so I'm, you know, my thinking is like, oh my goodness, they, they, they're feeling this. It's their time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just happening. And I, you know, someone who else who I've been thinking of, she signed up as a preferred member yesterday and I didn't even know she was going to sign up. I had no clue, but she had asked for my website last month and she goes, oh, I've just been watching you. I'm going to sign up. I said, okay. <laughs> so just, I don't know. It's, I don't know. And what I'm realizing now is I, I have, I've got to start listening, keep it simple. And I've got to start listening to my energy. Can I ask you a couple of questions? This lady said, I just want to sign up. What did you say? Uh, well, she already signed up. She, I she know, ordered... but what did you say when she said, I want to sign up? Oh boy. I feel like I want to cheat and just look at my message because she messaged me and she said, Oh, I already bought it. And I was, and I said, Oh, I wish you would have messaged me because I could have gotten you free shipping. She and I know her, I, I've, I've known her for years, but I said, then I eventually said, well, congratulations. Good for you. I'm excited to have you as part of our Shackley family. That's usually my <sighs> line, but. Would you have done that differently? <laughs> I'm sure I could have. <laughs> there is no <laughs> doubt I could have. Roland, what should I have said? <laughs> if, uh, because she sponsored in and she's your number, whatever it is, person coming in and mm -hmm. number 300 or whatever, and yeah. because of that, you get $300,000. What would you say when she sponsors in and she texts you? What would you say? What would you do? You're going to get $300,000. What would be the next thing you would do? Mm. Three big ones. I know. I mean... I feel like I'd want her to get an in-home. No, 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 no. Would you be elated? You're oh, gonna free... Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. And you're going to send her a text? No, I should call her. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to channel my energy towards my phone calls because they scare me. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> And therefore, you know, it's just like I complimented somebody today and I read the message into for my text. And I said, uh, good job. The words were the same. The words were the same. And so getting on the phone, even if they, you, they don't answer the phone, you leave the message, you can really, really do a good job of congratulating them, which sets you up and it gives good energy and it sets you up for better things in the future. Otherwise, if she decides to get more involved in Shackley, every question is going to be a text. You've set up the process for building with text messaging. What do you, this uh, bingo thing, is this with Shackley? I mean, yes. okay. So what do you look at as the outcome? Um, I hope to get to these people's people. <laughs> I'm incentivizing them to host their own. So um, we're gonna do almost like a traditional in-home within it. It's just, I don't know, a way to kind of make it fun. So um, doing the, you know, creating the pain, introducing who Shackley was, kind of doing the napkin pre- So that's what <laughs> we're gonna do. And- um, You funny. <laughs> you know, I, I feel I can say this stuff to you, Shannon, because we have talked on the phone numerous times. But saying, I hope to, doesn't give me good energy. Yeah. I hope to have people really interested in this and this and this. I mean, so the subconscious says, well, I hope so too, but I'm going to take a nap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be mean to you. I want to see you be so successful. I've told you a hundred times you have so much potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're getting in your way. You think too much. You know, have you ever heard of uh, people who go golfing? Mm -hmm. I, I golf seldom. But in the beginning, I'm doing pretty good. You know, and people I'm playing with say, oh, my goodness, you, you, you mean you haven't played for seven months? No, I haven't played. You're doing good. Then I start thinking about it. And boy, then do I do poorly. <laughs> because this next one, I'm going to hit it. 
<laughs> much further and I try harder thinking about it and it just doesn't accomplish anything so we can think too hard and and what we also end up doing is we keep trying to do the same stuff that doesn't work there's a cardinal a red cardinal that's around the house every day for several hours trying to get into the house through the windows that will not break flies into the window sits on the ledge flies into the window goes to a branch that's about oh i don't know 24 inches away sits there and then flies into the window and tries to fly up the window for hours hours every day and i say you dumb bird you're not going to get in the house put your nest someplace else it's not going to happen Try something else, but it's amazing how people keep trying the same dumb stuff that doesn't work for them. <laughs> and I see this bird every day, and it goes around to all the different windows trying the same thing <laughs> and trying to get in the house. The windows are not going to break. <laughs> I don't believe they are. Maybe the bird's going to be right one day and just really cream in you know, into a window and break it, but chances are it's gonna break his neck first. And so that's why if we have a clear focus as to where we're going, we've signed our name to it, we've said thank you, the subconscious will say, no, don't do that anymore. Call them up. Send them a handwritten notice about another meeting. Congratulate them through the snail mail. Boy, that makes a bigger impression today. You know, there was a time when it made an impression when you sent an email right away. Now, it may be another form. How do you impress people? And so that's very, very key. I've got a, uh, thought I'd send you a little share here. Thought this was good. Let's see. She said it was okay to play it. Roland, you have to turn off your, take your headphones out, otherwise we can't hear it. We can't hear a thing she said so far, so. Hi, I'm Heather Wilson. I live in Woburn, Georgia. I'm a wife, a mom, CEO of our home, taxi driver to our four beautiful children, ages 17 to 30, and I'm also a business owner. Um, once upon a time, at the ripe age of two months old, my parents were introduced to some nutritional products that our family began using. And years later, as a competitive athlete, I realized what a huge benefit those products have had in my own life because I spent many rigorous hours in the gym and in the pool, and I never had the injuries that my other teammates had. No ice baths for me, no injuries, and that was huge. And so fast forward from there, I go to college and I'm approaching graduation and planning to go on um, to graduate school in physical therapy, but I realized that my passions were being redirected a bit. I would soon be married and I started considering what I really wanted and I knew that I really wanted to be able to stay home and raise our babies eventually when we could start our family. I wanted to be able to do something that would contribute nicely to our family, uh, financially speaking. I wanted to have time flexibility to do the things that God was calling us to do as a family. And I wanted to build something for our retirement that would give us freedom in our retirement. I, of course,
course, remembered what my parents had been introduced to and couldn't help but um, think about all of the benefits that our family was afforded by way of that opportunity. The dramatic uh, health, nutritional um, benefits that our family had been able to experience, but not only that, but also um, the financial shift that happened in our family and the freedom that we were given. And so 21 years ago, I made the decision to forego more schooling and dive into this opportunity. And it has been such a blessing for our family. Um, we, I can tell you for the last 21 years, we've been paid every single month for 21 years. And I've been at home that whole time, you guys. And we even spent four years serving as missionaries in Latin America. Every month across those years, we were paid. And it's been such a gift to us. You know, I don't know if any of this has piqued your interest or not, but I know that I can't give you adequate information here on this quick video. But I just wondered if um, you would honor me by taking just 20 minutes or so of your time to um, hear a little bit more about this. And if, if not, if you find it's not something you're interested in, that is A-OK. -okay. What do you think? I think it was great. I love it. I love our energy. Yeah, good energy. <laughs> That's right. Good energy. Yeah. Telling your story and hear how you tell your story because she can look at this and see where, you know, what she did very, very well and maybe some things to improve or whatever. And boy, you know, this stuff is uh, so beneficial because there's nothing like recording yourself and watching yourself. You really want to get good. Do an in-home presentation and uh, record yourself. Maybe you're doing the in-home presentation for no one. I've seen people do that, get the camera up, and boy, can you learn from it. And those are the things that will save an incredible, incredible amount of time and help you to be good. You know, it's just like if a person is learning how to become an attorney, they uh, have these mock courtrooms and they have got the cameras out. Oh, they can observe the body language and so on. Any other comments from anybody? Okay, well, carry on. Let's do in homes. Let's let people know about Shackley and let's really work on our energy. And this is something that we should work on every day. Every day to have that good energy. So when you're calling somebody, make certain you have the good energy. I mean, there's some, you may feel a little strange doing it, but I know it's important. It's just like if I have traveled a distance, to do an in-home, maybe been listening to the radio or whatever. But before I get there, I really get my energy going. Any good player, musician, doesn't matter. They prepare in advance. Uh, Anthony Robbins, before he gets on stage, he's preparing his body, he's just preparing with his, have his energy ready. And a person who's going to be singing, they're in their sound room and they're doing various sounds. They prepare their energy before they ever get on stage. I know um, Carrie Underwood, who's from, of course, the Nashville area, but she was explaining how before the band starts and they generally come from the middle of the floor and they come on up, you know, and, and the band is playing and she's ready to sing. She prepares in advance. She prepares with the whole band with the energy to have the energy right. And many times after driving a distance, I'll look in the mirror and I'll start, I just laugh and I'll smile and I'll yell and whatever. I prepare with good energy before I go into that house. 
and I've prepared with the end results too. So when I walk in, I'm going to have good energy and my subconscious is ready to go to work. Preparing, preparing, preparing with good energy will save you lots of time, believe me. Any last comments? I was just going to say, if you, if you don't believe this energy stuff, and if you live somewhere where there's any amount of traffic, go for a drive and say to yourself, I hit every yellow light. I hit every red light. See what happens. Then go for a drive another day and say, you know what? God is good. Life is good. I hit every green light. I'll get there easily and see what happens. Yeah, it's just like these people. I mean, Linda Causey is one who prepares when she goes to a supermarket or wherever it might be where the parking lot is filled with cars. I'll get a space right close to the door. And she does every single time. I mean, call it voodoo, call it whatever. But boy, I tell you, this energy thing is not limited within five feet of you. It's around the world around the world. I dare you to start thinking of somebody that you perhaps haven't talked to in six months or more. Think about them, think about them, think about them, and maybe for a month. And if they don't call you, you can call them, and I'll bet you anything, I've had it happen every time, they will say, I've just been thinking about calling you. You ever had that happen? People you've been thinking about, you finally call them and they say, I've been thinking about calling you. Isn't that weird? That's how powerful this energy thing is. We're going to talk more about that. In the next well, time. and every time I go someplace with my grandkids, one of them always says, well, remember, Grandma always parks right up front. There's always a spot that opens up for her. <laughs> That's so true. So true. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being on. This is recorded. It'll be sent out. Have, Have a good evening. Week.